I don't think you realize how insane this experiment actually is. Apparently, after just 30 minutes, you could be driven insane because hallucinations, voices, and glimpses of the future are just a few things that people claim to experience. And I'll be honest, I don't normally believe stuff like this, but after doing some research, I was convinced enough to give this a shot. But what exactly is this? Well, back in the 1930s, a German psychologist named Wolfgang Metzer created the Gansfield experiment, which was used to investigate telepathy and hallucinatory states of people. The way this test works is by putting a person into sensory deprivation by playing white noise and blocking out their vision, which then causes the brain to fill in the blanks, resulting in hallucinations and otherworldly experiences. So pretty much that means I am choosing to go insane. And on top of that, I haven't even told you guys about the dangers of doing this. But before we get to that, I think we should go through everything we need for this experiment. The first thing we need is a ping pong ball and a really bright light. And don't ask me why, but I happen to have both under my bed. But anyways, after that, we needed to cut the ping pong ball in half because I needed one piece for each of my eyes. So apparently the way this works is that once I put the ping pong balls onto my eyes and shine the light through them, I'll be seeing the red light needed to hallucinate. And after that, all I need to do is put on the headphones for white noise and sit in that chair. And now that everything's properly set up, I think it's finally time to discuss the risks that I'm putting myself through. Since the Gansfield experiment puts a person into an altered state of conscious, the biggest risks are seizures, stroke, and the possibility of very unsettling hallucinations. And on top of that, to make things even worse, if you have mental health conditions like schizophrenia or anxiety, it is highly encouraged not to do this. But obviously I don't like to follow the rules because despite having anxiety, we're gonna do this anyways. And to make sure that I don't freak out, I have blocked every single entrance into this room and I'm wearing an Apple watch to track my heart rate. But now to make this whole experience even more intense, I've decided to raise the stakes a little bit. And that's because every other person who's done this before has only lasted 30 minutes. But I'm going to be attempting to set a world record by lasting in this hallucinatory state for an hour and hopefully nothing goes wrong. Whew. So I forgot to mention I needed to put the tape on the ping pong ball so there was no way that any other light can get in. Time to see what's going to happen. All right, so it's already starting to feel like the light is strobing even though I know it's not. And we are literally only 30 seconds in. This is gonna be a very long hour. And just when I thought this was gonna be a joke, some weird things started to happen. So I'm finding it really easy to let my mind kind of go in directions I don't want it to go. Like one minute I feel fine, and then the next minute I just feel like there's something in the room. All of my vision is starting to go black, which is super weird because I know the light is literally in my face. It just feels like there's a darkness kind of coming closer and closer to the middle. <sighs> And after just 14 minutes, I had my first crazy experience. All right, all of a sudden it got really cold in here, which is not a good thing. And I now have the chills. Okay, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. There's nothing in the room. You're okay. But now what makes this audio even more creepy is that when I was recording this video, I didn't hear the voice and I was completely home alone. Just the other night, I was going through the footage and if you look on the timeline, this is the entire clip unedited. But to make this even weirder is that the voice sounded like a British man and given that I was home alone, this was literally impossible and it only got creepier from here. So going into this, I was planning on talking every few minutes, but I've completely lost all sense of time. I can't tell you if I've been in here for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or it's literally only been five. And it's starting to freak me out too, because I'm starting to see things as well. So at this point, I think I'm just kind of along for the ride. And right on time, this is exactly what was supposed to happen. You see, after just 15 minutes, it's normal for people to begin seeing and experiencing hallucinations and heightened senses. But as I approach 30 minutes, I should expect to fall into a deeper state of peace. And by 45 minutes, I should be fully immersed in some sort of hallucinetic state. I don't know why, but random parts of my body are starting to hurt. For example, right now on my ankle, it feels like there's a lot of pressure on the left side. On my hand, it feels like someone's pinching my wrist. I'm really not feeling comfortable with this at all, but I told myself I was gonna last the entire hour, so we're gonna do that no matter what. Now at this point, I was really starting to lose sense of things. Like for some reason, I decided to itch my nose for a suspicious amount of time, and it's safe to say I was starting to lose my mind. Holy shit, it's cold in here. I need to take this off, it hurts so much. It just felt like my watch was just clamping down on my wrist. 
<sighs> so all of a sudden I just got some chills because I started hearing voices in the distance. The best way to describe it was being in a forest with some howling wind and very, very far off in the distance, there was screaming. You know, maybe I should have listened to the warnings about going into this with anxiety. And that's because after doing some research, it turns out that people with anxiety can get hallucinations from their own stress. And if they're put into an environment like this, they are far more likely to have a negative experience. Okay, what the f***? It is so cold in here, dude. And for some reason now, it feels like there's a breeze coming from the right hand side, which makes no sense because I know for a fact all the windows are closed. This is really not fun. And just as I told you earlier, at around the 45 minute mark, I was officially starting to lose it. Okay, slightly freaking out right now. So I keep looking around the room and it feels like there's a shadow that just keeps moving from side to side. And every time I look at it, it feels like it's just dodging. And I don't know if there's something in the room. I don't know if there's someone in the room, but this is starting to get really fucking creepy. It's fine. It's fine. It's all in your head. It's just in your head. You're okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Nice. What the f***? Okay, I have no idea what just happened, but all of a sudden the white noise just cut out really quick and cut right back in. And as soon as that happened, chills literally just came across my whole body. This is not fun. Holy shit, okay. I swear to God, if my house is fucking haunted, then that would be terrifying. So obviously I needed to somehow prove that what was happening was actually real. The first thing I decided to do was look into the history of my house to see if there were ever British people in the area. And it turns out there were. Back in 1794, the British crown purchased land in the area, which soon developed into a small trade town, which rapidly grew. And this land remained in the hands of the British empire until it eventually became Canada, which means that there was a strong possibility that this voice could have actually been from someone way back then. See, I just, it feels like it's over there because when I look this way, everything's fine. But the minute I look over there, it just feels like there's just like a looming darkness that just comes into my vision. And I keep seeing these little speckles in my vision. And every time I look at them, they go that way. And I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but I feel like they're just running away from whatever's over there. Fuck me, dude. Okay. I don't think you guys realize how hard this is for me right now. Pretty much every single bone in my body just wants to give up. And at this point, I'm just praying that we're almost done. And just like that, the hour had finally ended. Wait, what? Holy shit. Whoa. There's no way, dude. Because it turns out that I had actually gone into a state where I had completely lost all sense of time. And what was actually an hour only felt like 20 minutes. Now, I don't even know how to comprehend what just happened or if my house is actually haunted. But what I do know is this was one of the creepiest experiences of my entire life.